Now, when I met Adiba Malik in 2019, she was so passionate in telling me all about QED, the award-winning charity, and in particular, the Yaya Awards, which had been founded to mark QED's 30th anniversary. And I said, I have to be involved. Now, I was supposed to come and present in 2020, but of course, lockdown happened. So I'm here virtually to try and help keep my promise. Now, when I think about my own journey as a younger man, um, I was blessed with a lot of good luck. I ended up going to Oxford University, studying politics, philosophy and economics. But my time there was not straightforward. And the reason for that was culture. It was a culture shock for me in many ways. And I almost dropped out because I felt so isolated. And sadly, culture still um, can be a barrier to our achievement. And by that, I mean um, discrimination, systemic unfairness. You know, too often young Asians feel um, held back by poor educational achievement or um, impoverished family backgrounds or discrimination. But that is all the more reason to really and truly celebrate the amazing people who are being considered for awards tonight and of course the people that win the main awards. Now, as I've been very lucky to have some success in my career of film, but I'm truly, truly humbled when I think of the achievements of the people um, whose stories we're going to see tonight. We're going to see a range of people from diverse backgrounds really forging a path in their own education, their achievement, in their careers, and they're all role models. And as I said, you know, often when our community can face these real challenges, it's all the more important that we really celebrate those who are leading the way. So tonight, whether you win the main award or not, I just want to say hats off to you for being a part of this conversation, part of this movement really that's changing the fortunes of, well, your own lives, but also your families and us as a community. I think it's really fantastic that Adiba and the whole team have made the Yaya's happen. I think it's in its third year. And um, in particular, I want to really thank everyone who's helped made this possible, in particular, York St. John University for their amazing foresight for backing this crucial initiative. 